this is what we have learned till now now we are going to see everything we are going to see everything on the wireshark but let's see what we are going to see what is the setup so uh there is a guy on the internet and uh, i was seeing some of his video pretty interesting guy pretty knowledgeable guy chris reed i believe his name so i have taken uh, the wireshark capture uh, from his video only to just ease out the things right so follow him like him uh, uh, he is pretty good with respect to wireshark but right now what i'm saying is we have client we have server here right the client ip address is 192.168.0.100.146 the server ip address is uh, 172.67.75.39 there is initial tcp connection happened means tcp three-way handshake happened and now the local port of this client is this one and the destination port is 443 what is the meaning of 443 you all know whenever you make a connection to the google.com suppose right in your browser address bar there is a lock here which comes right right and what is that lock that locks means if you are talking in plain means you are not encrypting your traffic from the client to server this lock is not there and then the protocol is http the protocol if the protocol is http you are not secure and it is going to work at port number 80 but nowadays you see almost this lock everywhere which proves that this protocol is working over secure socket layer. This pro protocol is secure, and that is why we call HTTPS. Right? S means secure. So HTTPS, and that is why basically this pro this works. This server is listening everything on port number 443. If it is the case, if it had been listening on the port number 80, then the protocol is HTTP. It is as simple as that. Now we are making a connection on HTTPS. So this server is capable of doing HTTPS. It is start listening the communication over 443. Client initiates its ephemeral port. What ephemeral ports are, we have explained in the last video, right? Whatever uh, the port it is opening, it is opening a connection, it is sending the SYN, SYN, ACK, ACK, it, it has happened. Now we are going to talk about, we are going to see this communication actually happening over this TCP connection, right? Over the Wireshark. So having said that, let me open the Wireshark for you. And let me open the Wireshark, this one. This is perfect okay so guys we are going to, we are pretty good with respect to the first packet and let me open the epic pen also so that i can write here uh, sorry for that i haven't opened in okay ignore come here beautiful okay so here you go i have the pen so this is my source IP address. This is my destination IP address, right? The protocol is TCP. The first packet is SYN. The second packet is going to be from server to the client, which is SYN plus ACK. We all are pretty much comfortable with it because we have seen this in the last session. Then we have the third one, right? From the, from the client to server, which is the acknowledgement one. And that is what we are seeing here. Now, whatever is going on after this, it is the data transfer, right? So we are going to see this fourth packet number four here, which is the first packet in which we call the client hello. And by the way, if you guys are interested in learning this uh, SSL also, or the if you are uh, interested in learning uh, network security, right? I am going to start a series of video over the internet in both my own language, which is Hindi and uh, English, right? Where we are going to going little bit deeper into the network security principles, right? So what I'm going to teach you over those that series, which is going to be available pretty soon, right? At least that knowledge, that security knowledge should be known by every network engineer right we are going to the nitty gritties of confidentiality integrity and authentication right believe me very very simple 
and very very interesting all the concepts whatever they have implemented in network security they have implemented from the real life and you will be amazed to see that how much network security is easy right if you know why behind the thing so i am going a little bit off the track but pardon me for that but now if you see here we are talking about that they, this is the packet which is the first packet of data transmission we are going a little bit deeper into it we are going to see it but if i go and select this packet number four here if i just remove all these drawings we are here right so as i mentioned in the previous class that you should understand how to read this wireshark packet which is pretty easy right uh, first of all if you go here that this is the protocol which is transport layer security which is encrypted we cannot see anything we are more uh, uh, we we should look more into this tcp header here and this tcp has a header is encapsulated in ip that is why we have ip header here this ip is encapsulated into layer 2 which is your uh, which is your ethernet right and that is why we have mac address here right this is the l2 and when it goes out of the the wire we have this frame here so just try to re read this packet and suppose if this if this uh, instead of transport layer security if we have something else like ipsec you would have seen ipsec here okay i i'm i i'm i have just taken the wrong, wrong example means whatever the application layer protocol whatever for example http or whatever you are using you are going to see that packet here because what actually you are going to send inside this transmission control protocol is what you are receiving from top right most of the times you are not able to read this transport layer security packet because it is encrypted right pretty interesting protocol and sometimes we may be learning that with you no worries right so now if i go and open this transmission control uh, uh, frame uh, sorry uh, segment we are going to see some interesting fields there and the first interesting thing is the source port which you know we have the destination port uh, if i talk about this was the client this was the server you already know right the client has opened the port 5111 and the server is opened the port 443 there is a tcp handshake and we are talking about first data which is going between this client and the server right this is the sequence number y1 you all know right and then we are pretty much interested in this length 517 it means that this application is going to send a data so if this is a data right its length is 517 i am marking this data from the first byte the first byte marking is going to be 500 and uh, uh, sorry the first byte is going to be one the second byte is going to be two because the sequence number started from number one and the last byte which is 517 is going to be your 517 it is as simple as that right and the length field that is why it is going to be 517 it is as simple as that the sequence number of this packet at the tcp header it is going to be uh, the one right what server is going to do when it receives uh, uh this is a from client to server the server is when it receive it is going to send the acknowledgement that it has received till 517 and that is why it is going to say acknowledgement 518 right so you are going to see this packet here the packet number five this one right it is going to say acknowledgement acknowledgement with 518 it is as simple as that right try to read this now if i go a little bit deeper we are not going to talk about this uh, window and window scaling thing we are going to and believe me this is again pretty interested and by the time you finish the course uh, all these things window scaling selective acknowledgement which is a nightmare for you mss and for most of the people those are going to be piece of cake for you if you follow the sequence of these videos everything is going to be piece of cake uh, for you ntcp aur jaisa ki maine bola char chand to laga hi dega aapke career mein ha na jaise hi aap ye sari cheeze learn karoge it is going to be very very easy very very it can take your career further okay uh, so having said that 
let's i'm not going into the into the flag field here because this is push and, and uh, i haven't included uh, i haven't informed what is a push flag and also leave about it right so let's go into so try to understand this the tcp length was 517 sequence number one was one why it was one you already know from the initial tcp three-way handshake and then basically this data you are going to mark it with from one to 517 and how you calculated the acknowledged number uh, which is you are going to receive from the server you are just adding this one plus 517 and then you are going to receive that acknowledgement this is the server which is going to do this calculation. And that is why we are going to now deeper, we are going to see the packet number fifth, which is the acknowledgement from the server side. Okay, let me delete this information. And let's go into the packet number five. Here you go, right? So uh, we are in the packet number five, which is the acknowledgement from the server. And now the source port is going to be 443 because this is from the server to client server is 443 client is 51111 right that is why source port is 443 destination is port is this one and tcp length is zero because this is just an acknowledgement from the server right and now the acknowledgement number is 518 how did it calculate it very simple because it receives the data which is 517 uh, a byte long first sequence number of this byte first byte was one last is 517 server one to send an information to the client that i have received 517 bytes of information from you right and that is why my acknowledgement is 518 i am expecting 518 from you as simple as that now the next packet is again from the server to the client it is the server hello right these are the terminologies from uh, guys these are the terminologies from the uh, tls protocol do not worry about it because we are only interested into the into the uh, sequence numbers and that 